My name is Adam Young. I'm the superintendent of the White Pine County School District. In addition to being the superintendent, I am the special education director, the transportation director, chief grant writer, choir teacher, and journalism advisor. Working in a smaller district, you have many roles, many hats. Other duties as assigned is becoming a larger and larger percent of uh, the job description. Despite our size, we've been able to be very, very creative through grant funding in order to keep as many programs available for our kids as we can. Trying to make sure that we have continuity from year to year to year to keep those programs going when it is dependent on, on grant funding, yeah, it's very stressful. Um, as the budget has been very, very tight over the last three or four years, we've had to really resort to just very aggressive and strategic grant writing in order to maintain all of those programs. I think we've done a pretty good job of that. And when you're that person that makes that decision, I mean, I still have people that don't speak to me because we had to do a $90,000 cut to sports. And it's not, okay, I get that's painful, but we've cut a million dollars out of the classroom over the last four years. We have this budget to balance, and we have to do it, and unfortunately, it does some really, really bad things to kids. Years ago, we used to have five maintenance personnel for all of our school facilities, and, and over the years, that's been dwindled down to two, um, because we felt two was the essential minimum that we have. The demand by far exceeds uh, our staffing abilities. The point for our staff that it gets to is how much can we continue to do with just very, very few resources. And so it leads to a lot of burnout. It leads to a, you know higher than what we would like uh, turnover rates. So recruiting people when that turnover and burnout rate is high, that, that's a, uh, it's a real challenge. I do worry a little bit, um, making sure that the grant money comes back again year after year. These kids work so hard and they we're trying to teach them that whatever career they choose, even if it's not healthcare related, they need those resources and that help in high school to get them on their way. What does that mean in a, in a nuts and bolts sense? It means that we want to be able to, to, to hire music and, and library and PE teachers at our elementary schools and not have to rely on grants to do that. And so we'd like to be able to provide those opportunities within the scope of our general fund so that it's sustainable from year to year and it doesn't have to be, uh, you know, hopefully if everything works out well, we'll be able to continue this program next year. But we really won't know until, you know, after the legislature is done. Our kids deserve to have every resource that is available in this state devoted to them. They are our future. They're the reason that we all do this work. And so uh, I, think it's, I think it's an ethical and a moral type of an obligation that we have to them. If we want Nevada to be the type of place that we all want it to be, it starts with the way that we fund our, our education. 